put throw in stupid uh, storylines like what they do with the Great Khali. The Great Khali is like a really tough giant wrestler, and he's probably could be really good. I mean, he was good in 2006 when he came, from 2006 to like 2008, they, they used his big monstrous tough guy persona, and, and it worked. And then all of a sudden, he became this Punjabi playboy, and it's just like, what? You know? I mean, it was funny for a little while, but then they just, they just started throwing him in these stupid storylines and stupid things. And, you know, this guy, yeah, he's a former champion, but he should be, you know, he should be more successful than he has been, you know. They say he's injured and they take him out of matches. I got pissed off. If you guys remember the Great American Bash 2006, uh, it was uh, supposed to be the Great Khali versus the Big Show. No. Great Khali versus The Undertaker in that Punjabi prison match. And for some reason, they took The Great Khali out. I was like, what the hell are you doing? You know? And they put The Big Show in, which was fine. I mean, there's no titles on the line or nothing, but why put take somebody out that was supposed to be part of the match? You know, who the idea even came from. Punjabi prison match. And they've only had two. They haven't had any others since... Uh, the one with Batista and Big Collie from No Mercy 2007, I thought was pretty good. That was alright. But, anyway, you know, they they, they use the Big Collie, and then they take him out of the big matches. They took him out of the SummerSlam main event, which I thought was pretty stupid. He could have, he could have been really good, you know, and it really, <coughs> it really would have worked for him, as far as I know. But, that's WWE for you, you know. I love the WWE. I will always be a very sincere WWE fan. And I, you know, I'm not one, I don't really like bashing the WWE. You know, I'm more of a WWE fan than I am a TNA fan. Yeah, it's just that simple. Because TNA is a good company, but they're bringing, I mean, and it's good to see old wrestlers that we grew up with, you know, but mixing it with young wrestlers and all that. But still, I mean, there's too many old former, w, you know, former pro wrestlers how that program taking charge, and I don't like that. I mean, it was fun for a little while, but, you know, I just, I don't know. WWE will always be my, my mainstream. It always will be. Since WCW is not around no more, WWE will always be my, my mainstream. But, anyway, so that's my little review on the money in the bank. Uh, there's nothing more really to say, but I hope you uh, guys enjoyed the big video, and I hope, I hope that YouTube does not, you know, like, uh, say this is like a match, like a uh, match party uh, content thing or whatever that they do. Like if you play something that's copyrighted to you. All this stuff that was from the concert, uh, from the festival, was them playing the music. I wasn't stealing it from them or whatever. Or I wasn't, you know, adding it just for effect. It was actually them playing the music. And Los Lonely Boys really kicked ass. I really, you know, I think they really, were really they did a good job what they were doing, you know, they, they're professionals, they know what they're doing, you know, and, uh, the other bands were okay too, Kenny Neal I thought was cool, the fact that they came, he came out in the crowd and all that, I, I was not expecting that at all, but it's a free festival that we've had for now five years, but this is the sixth annual, it was a sixth annual festival, next year will be, uh, number seven, and by that time I hope to be out of here by that time, which I, as long as I save some money, I will be out of here. But anyway, so, yeah, so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for another great daily summer vlog right here on the Frankie Slauson Show. Bye-bye.